Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Michaela. So today I'm going to be updating my reading tracker and my bullet journal with all of the books that I read in October and November. Let's just jump right into it. So I'm using my library checkout card book tracker to write down all of the books. And the first book that I'm adding here was actually a book I read at the end of September, but I forgot to add it. And it's called The Love Hypothesis, and I gave it four stars. I thought this was a really cute book. I really like the relationship between Olive, who is a PhD um, grad student, and the professor, Adam Carlson. It was kind of like a fake dating to lovers, kind of been enemies. I mean, not really enemies, but more like fake dating trope and I read the Spanish love deception earlier um, in September and I couldn't help but compare these two books because they had very similar um, storylines and I don't know I just felt like I personally liked this one a little bit better than the Spanish love deception but I think I gave them both four stars the first book I read in October was part of a 24-hour readathon challenge that I did and it was called the maid and I gave it four stars this one is like a murder mystery but it's not like a thriller or scary it's like a cozy murder mystery and it was kind of unexpected and I, I actually really enjoyed it and I did a video on the 24-hour readathon so feel free to go check that out I go into a lot more detail about like what the book was about and my thoughts and that video that brings us to the second book that i read in october and it was six of crows and i absolutely absolutely love this book i gave it five stars and if i'm being honest september october and november kind of had a lot of four and five star hits this is what i needed at the beginning of the year this is what motivated me to read but the six of crows again was part of the 24 hour readathon challenge these were the only two books the maid and six of crow that i was able to finish in 24 hours but i love six of crows it was so good and it's like a heist book about these kids that do this giant heist and again i go into a lot more detail in my 24 hour readathon video so feel free to go check that one out during the readathon i was also able to start the second book in the six of crows series which is called cricket kingdom and i gave this one five stars as well although i liked six of crows better this one was also very good next up i read you're invited and it's kind of like a thriller mystery whodunit i guess you could call it and it's about this woman named Amaya who flies back to Sri Lanka to attend her best friend Kavi's wedding and when she gets there she finds out that her best friend Kavi is marrying her own ex-boyfriend which brings up all of this kind of trauma and then like past um rumors and dirt and all of this stuff from the past and um then Kavi kind of goes missing the day before the wedding and everyone's kind of like pointing to Admaya thinking that like maybe she killed her or has her locked up somewhere and it kind of just follows this entire craziness that happens at this wedding. I gave this one four stars. Next up, I read the sequel to They Both Die at the End, and it was called The First to Die at the End, and I gave this one five stars as well. It was so sweet and so cute, and of course, I'm not going to spoil anything because it's in the title, but one of them does die at the end, and it was sad and heartbreaking, but I really loved the love story between Orion and Valentino. It was just sweet and cute. Not to say that I didn't like Mateo and Rufus's story, I just... I don't know why i thought it was interesting especially to hear about origins of death cast honestly even though this is a sequel it's actually more like a prequel because it just tells you a little bit more about death cast and things like that and it was good it was a really good book and i will probably read this one again next year i also read quite a few graphic novels in october which i don't really do but i read some good ones i read heartstoppers volume one i gave this one five stars it's a really cute story about nick and charlie who are best friends who then kind of develop feelings for each other and then i also read heartstoppers volume 2 which i also gave five stars to the next graphic novel that i read is called pumpkin heads and it's about deja and josie who are friends and they work at this like pumpkin patch every autumn season and they are seniors in high school and this is like the last day of the pumpkin patch and so this will be their last year working at the, pu the pumpkin patch farm and josie is kind of like secretly in love with and has a crush on like this pie girl that works at the pie station and it's like deja's mission to like help him meet her and talk to her talk to her for the first time I just thought it was a really cute story about like love and friendship. 
The next book I read is called The Boyfriend Project and I gave this one like three stars, more like a three and a half star. And it's a love story between Daniel and Samaya, but honestly, the best part is like the friendship between Samaya and her two friends, London and Taylor, that she actually met through like this weird Twitter beef thing where basically like she found out from Twitter that her boyfriend at the time was cheating on her and catfishing her as well as London and Taylor. And they all kind of like met and bonded over that. This is actually a book in a series and I believe the second book is about Taylor's story and the third book is about London's story so I will be reading those as well. Next up I also read Heartstoppers volume 3 and I gave that one 5 stars as well. Next up is another four star read and this is about Bitter who is Jam's mom in the book Pet that I read earlier this year and this just tells kind of like Bitter's story when she was younger and explains a little bit more about the world that they live in. This one was pretty good. I also read The Bodyguard which I gave three stars to. I had really high hopes for this because I saw a lot of really good reviews on it. It's another fake dating trope. It wasn't that great in my opinion. It was all right. Next up, I started the first book in the Inheritance Game series, and I gave this one four stars. I plan to try to read the other two before the end of the year, but we'll see how that goes. I really enjoyed this book because I like puzzles and riddles and things like that, so I really appreciated that, and I can't wait to see where this goes and how it's going to end, so this one was pretty interesting. And lastly, I finished out November with another graphic novel, Heartstoppers Volume 4. If you can't tell, I love this series and I will continue to keep reading them as she continues to keep making them. <laughs> So the last thing to do is update my book bingo page. So here I'm coloring in the squares for books someone recommended and I'm using The Boyfriend Project for that one. For graphic novel, I'm just gonna use one of the Heartstopper books that I read. Um, for under 250 pages, I'm gonna use one of the graphic novels again that I read. Um, read in a single sitting, again, another one of the graphic novels I read in a single sitting. Um, a young adult book, I'm using Six of Crows for that one. And then over 500 pages, I'm going Going to use Crooked Kingdom for that one. And here is a look at the progress that we made on this book tracker and this bingo card. I cannot wait. We have a few more squares to fill in. I'm super excited. As I mentioned earlier in the video, I did do a 24 hour readathon challenge. And let me tell you, it is not for the faint of heart. That thing is harder than it looks. I will be sure to link it right here on the left hand side of the screen. Go ahead and check that out. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.